Okay, you see this girl? I have a few things to say about her. Number one, whoever told you that it was okay to wear a little, what's that called? I don't know what you're doing with that thing right there. That's wrong. A tail with a bow? That was never a good idea. Number two, are those shoulder pads right there you've got on them? Except buffing that thing right out there. Actually, I love that shirt. I'm not even gonna lie. It was one of my favorites. Number three, that hair though, that, <laughs> that was naturally curly hair and or maybe that was a perm, that, that could have been a perm back then too, I'm not sure. Anyway, here's my point about that. I don't look the same, things shift and change and for one I'm really glad about that. But here's the thing, so many clients, so many people come up to me and say, Hey, you know what, I just want to get to back to how I was looking before when I was in high school or, or from my wedding or when I was younger. I just want that body back. And here's my word of advice to you if that is the case. Don't pine for that body that was. Don't wish for the way that you looked. Start a new goal. Think of a new self that you could become. I think people get really caught up in trying to look like they did about 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 30 years ago, it doesn't matter. But instead of doing that, instead of trying to starve yourself or exercise like crazy to get back to that body that you had before, why not set a new point for yourself? Don't try to be like her anymore, just try to be like the new you. Maybe the new you has a little extra weight, that's okay, but the focus should again be on how healthy can you be? Back then when you were skinny, were you a healthy skinny? Did you exercise? Did you eat well? Did you have good nutrition? Did you have balanced wellness? Well, you know what, times shift, times change, and maybe that should be the focus moving forward today instead of trying to be like that skinny self. Actually, I wasn't even skinny back then. I was a lot chubbier, and in fact, 30 years later, I think I'm more fit than I've ever been because part of my journey and process has been to really accept who I am with where I'm at, and then also to believe, to believe, this is the key, that shift and change can happen no matter what your age, that you can get healthier, that you can get lean and fit, that you can be strong. I've got a good hour workout for you. We're gonna burn upwards of 800 calories in today's workout because we're doing a lot of skipping, a lot of high intensity uh, intervals in between our weights and resistance training. Okay, so here's the format. We've done this format before. I know most of you have liked this and have commented. So basically what we're doing is one upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, okay? A cardio exercise and then an ab exercise. And that cardio component there is gonna be all skipping today, yikes. So if you don't have a rope, you could always do high knees or just pretend to skip, that's totally fine. I'll give modifications as I think of them. Also, you're gonna need some weights for today's workout and that rope, of course. Don't forget your water or BCAAs and a towel as well. If you're just joining us and this is your first time you've seen our video, welcome here. As you can tell from the beginning of the video, we're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in a way that's sustainable for the long haul, in a way that's healthy and good for you. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. All right, while you're down there, hit that little bell. It's gonna give you a reminder that we post new workouts every Wednesday and Saturday. Okay, you ready to hit it? Let's go. Okay, round one is just gonna be a little bit of a warm up, so we'll basically do four minutes warming up chest, or sorry, upper, warming up lower, cardio, and abs. All right, let's get into plank position and rotate up, nice stretch right here. I can't even take my jacket off yet, it's so chilly in here. So again, we're just doing one minute to get everything nice and warm. That's it. I'm gonna show you a, a good little warm up that our trainer showed us the other day. Yes, I have a trainer sometimes. And we're doing this big fem sport competition. And uh, so I don't know if you've heard of that. Actually, I'll put the link below if you wanna know a little bit more about it. It's kind of a cool little thing. It's basically kind of like strong woman meets tough butter. So it's an event for women only. And uh, anyway, there's six elements that you have to do in the event. And you have to do them basically as fast as you can, right? Okay, last four seconds here. All right, stay down here. We're gonna do a little glute activation warm up. So on your knees, you're gonna extend back 
and then push yourself back up with that glute, okay? We'll do 30 seconds per side. Ready? Three, two, here we go. So you're sitting down and up. So kind of kind of going back into that pigeon almost, and then pop back up. All right, anyway, so we started training with my friend Andrew, who's doing some of the training for us. And so a couple of the things that you have to do for this event are like flip a 260 pound tire six times for time. Do 50 box jumps as fast as you can. All right, switch sides here and back. You have to pull a tire, you have to do a big obstacle course where you're actually pushing a car at the very end. That's kind of fun. Uh, you have to do really heavy kettlebell carries. So lifting, you know, like, I think the heaviest kettlebell is like 75 pounds or something like that. You have to lift it up onto the surface, so that's hard. All right, almost there, last five seconds here, and then we're standing. All right, good, and come to standing. We'll just do a little faux skipping without the rope, just in this warm up round here. Get ready to go in five, four, three, two, and here we go. Anyway, so it's very interesting to be able to train for that because it's you have to be super strong to do all of these things. And because you're doing them all for time as fast as you can, then uh, basically you want to be explosively strong. You want to have good cardio because everything is so, so fast. So we're working on all of those things. And anyway, that little pigeon warm up there is what we did the other day. I thought it was great for glute activation. So hopefully it gets your glutes all going as well. All right, this is just easy right now. We are gonna get into it. So this is just your little warm up. So take advantage of how easy it is at this point. Good, 10 more seconds here. Just skipping. All right, in four, three, two, all right, let's get down to the floor and we'll just do a little ab engagement to get ready for our ab sequence. So we'll just do some crunches, regular hands behind your head, bring your chest up to ceiling. Get ready in three, two, and right here. That's it. Halfway there. Then, as soon as you're done this, just make sure your weights are handy, your skipping rope is handy, and we will get going with our first higher intensity circuit. Good, 15 seconds left. Good. We're starting off your upper body exercise with a clean and press. So feet are shoulder width apart. We'll do 30 seconds aside. You're squatting low, elbow high, and flipping it up. Here we go. So squat and flip. That's it. All right, getting that shoulder all going here. Now you can start a little bit lighter if you want with this, and then increase your weight as we go through the rounds because each exercise set will do for three rounds all right so if you're just wanting to warm up shoulders still that's fine switch sides low elbow flip remember you're leading with your elbow until it comes up to 90 degrees and then flipping it up right hips are powering that whole action good Eight seconds here. All right, rest. 
Okay, moving into a plie squat, so super wide, right? Toes are pointed out, knees track out over the toes, squeeze your butt at the top. Ready? Here we go. Low and squeeze. So it's a bit different than a sumo squat. Sumo, the feet are facing a little more in the front. Okay, we're working on those inner thighs right here. And a little bit of glute squeezing at the top. That's it. All right, halfway through. Remember, we're going to our skipping next. And we'll start our skip with a high knee. Okay, so if you don't have a rope, just do high knees. Otherwise, your whole skipping is gonna be high knees, okay? Okay, last 10 seconds here. Good, in four, three, two, and one. All right, grab that rope. Get ready for high knees. In three, two, let's go.
Catch your breath there. Moving super wide. Hold that dumbbell wherever. Up higher, hold it low. Let's go, squeeze at the top. Stand as tall as you can here. And make sure the knees are out towards the toes. Okay, don't let them collapse in. Halfway through with a minute on the clock. You're getting a high rep range again, hey? So I'm probably getting 30 or so reps of this in. So you gotta lift your weight according to that. I should do a workout where we're just doing heavy weight, low rep range, just to see the difference in uh, the feel of that. Your heart rate would be the same though. It'd be up there with the heavier weights, that's for sure. All right, that's it. Good, skip, high knees again. Whew. In three, two, That one to rest a bit longer. A bit of a sore shoulder on this side. So I find things like plank just kind of bothers it a little bit, but not too bad. But the longer you can let it rest, if you're doing a single side exercise, the better. All right, power, hips, switch sides now. Remember, hips are back and you're throwing them forward. Tight at the top, no arching the back. Last 10 seconds. Good. 
Shake it. Uh, plie. Get into position here. Ready? Whew. Let's work today. Let's go. Down and up. Squeezing your butt at the top here. And get as low as you can with good form, making sure you're not collapsing at the waist. Stay tall. Woo, over half, come on. Legs always feel these one minute intervals. The next day for sure. Longer time and normally I do 12 reps, so adds up. Okay, skipping again. High knees again. Let's get it. Ready? between things so again that progressively overloads okay ready last out here get a little break here we go Body. 
Last one here. Good. Okay, grab your weights. Alternating front lunges. I'm going heavy. You go heavy too, okay? Whew. Alternating front in four. Shoulders back, tummy tight. Here we go. Alternating. Get as low to the ground as you can. Push your heel to stand back up. Burns. That quad. Okay. Halfway. Keep tall. Almost there. In five, nope. In five now, sorry. Three, two, one more. Oh. All right, skipping. Okay, you're gonna do a jack kick behind here. Okay, if you don't think you can kick behind, just jack it out. We'll give it a shot anyway for a minute. Ready? Here we go. Jack kick. It takes a little bit getting used to, but practice, it'll get better. have to go to the bathroom after that one take a break come right back I'll see you in a second okay full V sits for our abs you can modify this right here otherwise let's take it all the way from the ground all the way to the ceiling ready up and down seconds. So far so good. Oh, good. Glad that's over. Okay, flip it. Stay down here. Moving to that reverse fly tricep kickback. In three, two, here we go. Make sure your feet are wide so you're kind of like a tripod. Okay, so you don't lose your center of balance. That's the way to do it. This could be done from the knees as well, though, to modify. Work. 
10 seconds. Just a few more here. All right, good. Alternating front lunge. Grab those weights. In three, two, and drop it like a top. If you're on carpet or a soft mat, actually try and put your knee all the way down, push back up. It's a good challenge. How low you can get with good form. Have to stay upright and your tummy and your lumbar muscles need to be engaged so you don't arch your back. Here for me, anyway. 
This is supposed to be upper body. Okay, thank goodness. Alternating front lunge coming up. Whew. Anyone else starting to sweat there? You better be. Shoulders back, tall, tall. Knock these out. Swing those weights. I just noticed I was doing that at the front because then it helps me back, right? If I swing and woo, don't do it. Drop straight up. Keep them still. Push. Make the legs work. This could be held up here too. Prevent that swinging. Of course, you could go right to the ground on this too, depending on what 
you want to focus on here. I'm giving it more to my hip and really focusing on throwing it up diagonally here. All right, good. We're gonna do a little weighted in and out squat, but no jump on this. Just a low impact one, but weighted. So you're starting narrow, squatting narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Let's go. Narrow, long, narrow, wide. Okay, this is gonna be hard. It's okay. As they say, it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger and such. Yeah, it's work already. Stay in the pocket though. Try not to come off. Did you need to take a break? Just get that lactic head set up quickly. Pop back into position. Good, 20 seconds. Our skip is gonna be a skipping skip. Does that even make sense? I'll show you, but it's that old fashioned kindergarten skip. You know what I mean? 10 seconds. I can't believe I stayed down here this long, to be honest. Talking helps. Three, two, time. Okay, so the old fashioned skip is like here. Da, 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 like that, okay? Get ready. Three, two, go. there. Do what works for you. Try not to cross your legs like this though, okay? I know I want to as well, but 30 seconds. Flat back, stick your chest out. Come on. Little hip flexor. See, I wanted to cross again there. Nope. Don't do it, Tracy. Do not do it. Ugh. Put mine down for a second. Lean back. All right, 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and time. Woo, that was hard. Okay, up to the wood chopper. Ready? Three, two, let's go. And up. Tight abs here, don't let the back sag and collapse. Pop. All right, switch sides here. And go. Seconds left. Let's 
Stay tight in four, three, two, and one. All right, in and out squats. Okay, ready? I don't know if I'm gonna be as good on round two, we'll see. Here we go. Narrow, wide. Super flat back here. Let me show you on the side. Tall, trying to drop my glutes to 90. I may not even be getting down as far as I should, but. Oh, that's hard this time. Stay low. Get down, get down. You're halfway through, come on. Oh, that is brutal on the isometric contraction, isn't it? 15 seconds. Remember you're squatting, not just stepping to the side. Oh, can do it. In five, four, three, two, and time. Woo, Nelly. All right, skipping skip. Ready? Here we go. more difficult. Yeah. It's hard. Ugh. Yeah, damn. Come on. Stay in the 
Oh, can't do it. Oh, good, thank God. Okay, skipping. Ready? Here we go. Four. 
four, three, two, and time. All right, set it and forget it. Let's go to skipping. Boxer shuffle on this guy. That's just a little side to side shuffle. Bring like that. Get ready. Here we go. So really low to the ground. Nice and quick. You can change your pattern out here. Sometimes I'll go like three on one side, the so one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, and then alternate. One, two, three, 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 seven. Make it fun. that you're stationary on anyway, right? It's doing that isometric contraction, staying so still and holding your body weight. Switch sides. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
good. <laughs> Does, do people say that? That feels good? Or do they say that was horrible? That was painful. It did feel good though. Right in that glute. Right in the kisser. Ready? Side to side. Boxer shuffle. All those lumbar muscles having to recruit for you. Whew. It's harder. I'll give you that. I will give you that. In three, two. All right, quickly switch. I am nice to only give us 30 seconds aside, I'll tell you that. It would be better if we went for a minute aside, but that would be really hard too. Keep going. Halfway, nice and relaxed in your hands. Oh, it hurts the elbow a little bit, doesn't it? In four, three, two, and time. All right, chest press, shoulder press combo. Ready? Three and three, here we go. Shuffle. 
Get ready. Oh, we're out. Here we go. We did it. All right, I'm sure we burned upwards between six and 800 calories working at that period of time. You just, typically they say you burn between 100 and 150 calories for every 10 minutes of work. Plus adding the skipping in there is helpful. I think cumulatively we did about 12 minutes of skipping, so that's really good. Remember to practice your skipping so they can get better and throw a bunch of different fun tricks in there as well, just to make it more interesting, right? Okay, thanks for joining. I'm going to see you in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe so you get that right into your inbox every Wednesday and Saturday and sometimes a bonus one on another day. All right, as always, go and move daily.